In this problem, we have to try to figure out what the length of this right triangle's hypotenuse is by using the Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse is the longest side of any right triangle. The hypotenuse is always located directly opposite from the right angle of our right triangle. The Pythagorean theorem is represented by the equation a squared plus b squared is equivalent to c squared. We use the letter c in our equation to represent the length of a right triangle's hypotenuse. When you are asked to figure out the length of a triangle's hypotenuse, you are solving for the letter c in the equation that represents the Pythagorean theorem. The a and the b in our equation represents the length of the two shorter sides of our right triangle. For the triangle shown on the screen, that would be 5 centimeters and 12 centimeters. And using that information, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can figure out what the length of the triangle's hypotenuse is. When trying to calculate the length of any triangle's hypotenuse, the first step is to substitute the length of the two shorter sides in for the a and b for our equation. After substituting the lengths for a and b into our equation, we must take the length of a and b and raise those to the second power. 5 to the second power is equal to 25, and 12 to the second power is equal to 144. After squaring the shorter sides of your right triangle, you must add those results together. 25 plus 144 is equal to 169. So at this point, we have an equation that reads 169 is equal to c to the second power. Whenever solving for a variable, we must isolate the variable or get it all by itself. And c is not by itself yet, it still has an exponent of 2 attached to it, so we must eliminate that exponent. By writing a square root sign over c to the second power, the exponent of 2 will cancel with the radical sign. That will leave us only with the letter c. However, you must remember what you do to one side of any equation, you must balance out your equation by doing it to the other side as well. So we must figure out what the square root of 169 is. And the only thing that we can multiply by itself to produce 169 is 13. So now on one side of our equation we have 13, and on the other side we have c all by itself. So now we can say the length of our hypotenuse is equal to 13 centimeters. To further understand the Pythagorean Theorem, let's demonstrate our equation by using pictures. We are going to start with a squared, or 5 to the second power. 5 to the second power equals 25. 5 squared would make a square with an area of 25 square units. By squaring side b, or 12 to the second power, that would produce a square with an area of 144 square units. When taking the area of these two squares that we produced and adding them together, we would get a total of 169, which by the way is equal to c to the second power. And if we take the square root of 169, which is 13, you will notice that that is the length of one side of the square that we just produced, which is also the length of the hypotenuse of our right triangle. So to find the hypotenuse of any right triangle, Simply take the lengths of the two shorter sides and square those, and then add those results together, and then take the square root of that result, and that will give you the length of side C, or the hypotenuse of your right triangle.